Hello, I am Knight of Christ Jesus here. My knowledge and your IQ isn't sufficient. We need the Almighty Heavenly Father's grace, which is our crowning glory. So let us begin this session with a prayer through a Son, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, bless and bestow upon us your grace. Let this learning process be helped and guided by the Holy Spirit. The knowledge acquired here be used for peace and prosperity of human race. Let this human race be the pride of Christ Jesus. Lord, thy kingdom come. Hello, today we'll do successive differentiation or second order derivatives. So what is successive differentiation or second order derivative? So if you take a different equation, differentiate for the first time, it is referred to as first derivative or first order derivative. If you take the first order derivative and differentiate once again, that is called as second order derivative or successive differentiation or successively differentiated equations we get. So, in a simpler way, if y equals f of x be the given equation, when you differentiate this, say for example, you will be getting dy by dx. So, that is nothing but represented as f dash of x. So, when you take this, that is, this is differentiating with respect to x. You got dy by dx, that is nothing but f dash of x we represent. So, div again with respect to x. Then you will be getting d square y divided by dx square. This is denoted by f double dash of x. This is called second order derivative or it is referred to as successive differentiation or successively differentiated equation. The dy by dx or d square y by dx square, they have the other short forms. So the short forms of dy by dx, instead of writing like this, you can write it as y1 or you can also write it as y dash or this also can be written as f dash of x similarly you have d square y by dx square equal to y2 or this is represented as y double dash or this is represented as f double dash of x you can choose any of the terms here this is the conventional way, this is the short forms.
Today, we shall do proving type based on successive differentiation. So, example one would be, one of you call out the question. Y equals tan inverse of x. Y equals tan inverse of x. Show that 1 plus Show x Show that 1 plus, one plus x square into d square y into d square y divided by dx square plus 2x plus 2x into dy by dx into dy by dx equals 0 equals 0 so we shall differentiate this with respect to x so we'll have differentiating with respect to x we get d by dx of y equals d by dx of tan inverse of x so d by this is nothing but dy by dx is equal to d by dx of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square so therefore it will be 1 whole divided by 1 plus x square if you see in the equation you have 1 plus 1 by x square so you have to transpose this into into d square y so if you apply the product rule i might get so I know that before and, and it is equal to 0 therefore if I leave this towards my right hand side 1 differentiation of 1 is 0 therefore you have to cross multiply this so I will have 1 plus x square into dy by dx equal to 1 now differentiate again that is the successive differentiation that is f1 so we will be getting d by dx of 1 plus x square into dy by dx equals d by dx of 1 so this becomes like u into v so we'll apply that product rule here so keep the first function keep u as it is differentiate d by dx of the v that is dy by dx dy by dx plus keep v that is dy by dx differentiate u that is 1 plus x bar equal to 0 because differentiation of a constant is 0 so therefore this will become 1 plus x square into d square by divided by dx bar because d by dx of dy by dx is nothing but second derivative so that can be written this way plus this will be equal to dy by dx as it is into differentiation of 1 plus 0 and differentiation of x square is 2x equal to 0 so now you multiply this you will be getting 1 plus x square into d square y divided by dx square plus dy into dx of this that will become 2x equal to 0 because this into this is 0 therefore this into this you will get this so this is the des desired equation of or what we are supposed to prove 2x into dy by dx equal to 0. This is the required equation. Example we'll see the proving type for successive differentiation is called y equals a into sine of log x. y equals a into sine of log x to be c. Show that show that x square y2 plus x square y2 plus x y1 x y1 plus y equals 0 plus y equals 0. 
So let's differentiate this. So diff with respect to x. So you'll be getting d by dx of y equals a into d by dx of sine of log x to bc. So we have taken the constant out and then we are differentiating. So we'll be getting dy by dx is equal to a into differentiation of sine x is nothing but cos x. So it will become cos of log x to bc into chain rule that is d by dx of log x to base e. So next step you will be getting dy by dx is equal to a into cos of log x to base e into differentiation of log x is nothing but 1 by x. So cross multiply that. That is bring this x towards this side. You will be getting x into dy by dx is equal to a into cos of log x to base e. So we have to differentiate this once again that is second derivative. So I will write your diff again. Diff again you will be getting d by dx of x into dy by dx. This will be equal to d by dx of a into cos of log x to base e. So this is again a uv thing and this will be a chain. So I will be having here x into d by dx of dy by dx plus dy by dx into d by dx of x equals a into d by dx of cos log x is nothing but minus sine of log x to base e into d by dx of log x to base e. So therefore this will be equal to x into d square y divided by dx square plus dy as it is dy by dx into 1 equals minus a into sine of log x to base e into 1 by x. So multiply this x throughout the other side, you will be getting x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx equal to or transpose this, if you transpose this it is going to be plus a into sine of log x to base e equal to 0. But we know that x square, this is nothing but y2 plus x into, this is nothing but y1 plus this is the given equation, the whole thing because they, they are given y equal to a into sine of log x to the base e. So therefore this becomes y, y equal to 0. So this is the desired equation. And screw Example 3 again the proving type on successive differentiation. Call it now. Y equals e to the power a sin inverse x. E to the power a sin inverse x. Show that. Show that. 1 minus x square. 1 minus x square. Into y2. Into y2. 
minus x y one minus x y one minus a square y minus a square y equals zero equals zero. Okay. Again, take the given equation and differentiate with respect to x. So you'll be getting d by d x of y equals d by d x of e to the power a sine inverse x. So we know this, but we can't take this one mainly because it is e to the power a sine inverse x. So what we do is we will take logarithm first and then work on it. So let us use take log on both sides. So you will be getting log y into base e equals log e to the power a sine inverse x to the base e. So now when you take apply the product uh, power law for this, you will be getting log of y to base e equals a into sine inverse of x into log e to the base e. But we know that log e to the base e is 1. So therefore, we take, take only this and this part. That is log of y to base e equals a into sine inverse x is what we are going to differentiate. So diff with respect to x. Diff with respect to x you will be getting d by dx of log y to base e equals a into d by dx of sine inverse x. So therefore d by dx of log x is 1 by x. But here it is going to be changed. So 1 by y into dy by dx equals a into 1 whole divided by root over 1 minus x square. Because d by dx of sine inverse x is 1 by root over 1 minus x square. So therefore we got this one. Now what we do is we cross multiply this. So you will be getting root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx equal to a into y. Because this one y goes to the other side, this comes here. That is called cross multiplication. So now we will differentiate this again. So second order derivative. So it will become diff again. Diff again, you will be getting d by dx of root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx equals a into d by dx of y. So when you apply this, it's going to be again a product root u into v. So therefore keep the first function root over 1 minus x square into d by dx of y. d by dx of dy by dx plus keep dy by dx as it is. Differentiate d by dx of root over 1 minus x square equal to a into dy by dx. Now here what you get is you will get root over 1 minus x square into d square y divided by dx square plus dy by dx into this is going to be d by dx of root x is 1 by 2 root x. So therefore applying that we get 1 by 2 root over 1 minus x square. Again this is not like x therefore differentiate it become a chain rule d by dx of 1 minus x square equals a into dy by dx. Now you get this one root over 1 minus x square into d square y divided by dx square plus dy by dx into 1 by 2 root 2 into root over 1 minus x square into differentiation of 1 minus 0 differentiation of x square is nothing but 2x minus 2x equals a into dy by dx so now this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled 
So minus into this it is going to be minus. So take the LCM of this, this into this. So therefore you will be getting this into this is nothing but 1 minus x square. Root over 1 minus x square into root over 1 minus x square is nothing but root over 1 minus x square whole square. Square of the square root gets cancelled. Therefore it is 1 minus x square into d square of y divided by dx square. Plus this is going to be, this is the minus part of it. So it will become, we will take this minus also multiply with this because of the product. So you can write it as minus x into dy by dx equals this one I am taking it will be a into dy by dx this root over thing it will be whole divided by root over this this when it goes over here it will become root of 1 minus x square as it is that is this into this whole divided by this it was that is the LCM part of it so that in the denominator I have transposed it to the right hand side of the equation so therefore it will be into root over 1 minus x square so now if you see this one we have your equation equation 1 equation 1 is nothing but root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx that is this part is nothing but a into y so a into y. So therefore I substitute for this, you will be getting 1 minus x square into d square y divided by dx square minus x into dy by dx is equal to a into a y. That is nothing but transposing this side, you will be getting 1 minus x square into d square y divided by dx square minus x into this I can rewrite it directly as y2 itself because the question has y2 minus x into this is nothing but y1 minus a square y because this when it comes to this side it will become minus a into a is a square into y so this is equal to 0 thus we prove the equation Example 4, call out. x equals a into cos square x theta. x equals a into cos square theta. y equals a into sin square y theta. y equal to a sin square theta. Show that. Show that. d square y by. d square y by. dx square. dx square. Equals 0. Equals 0. So we have a parametric equation. The parametric equation will be differentiate it, get the, the, the equation x is in terms of theta, y is in terms of theta, therefore it is a parametric equation and we have to differentiate each one with respect to theta separately, then take dy by dx, that is equation 2 by equation 1 and then we are going to differentiate it. So first let us take this one, x equal to a cos square theta. So we have to diff this with respect to theta. So therefore it will become dx by d theta equals a into d by d theta of cos square theta. So therefore this will become dx by d theta equal to a into you remember this, this is cos square theta not cos theta. So this is similar to x to the power n. x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. 
So therefore it will become 2 into cos 2 minus 1 is 1 itself. Therefore you can write 2 cos theta into chain rule d by d theta of cos theta. That is whatever is inside. So you will be getting here dx by d theta equals 2a into cos theta into minus sin theta because differentiation of cos theta is nothing but minus sin theta. Now the second column you have y equal to a sin square theta differentiate this with respect to theta. So diff with respect to theta you get d by d theta of y equals a into d by d theta of sin square theta. So you'll be getting d y by d theta equal to a into again it is sin square theta not sin theta. So you have to apply x to the power n formula. So it is going to be 2 into sin of 2 minus 1 that is 1. So it will become sin theta itself into d by dx so of into d by d theta of sin theta is 1. So you will be getting dy by d theta equals 2a into sin theta into cos theta because d by dx d theta of sin theta is cos theta. So we have to get this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So therefore dy by dx equal to equation 2 by equation 1. So therefore you will be getting 2a into sin theta into cos theta whole divided by 2a into cos theta into minus sin theta. Cos theta, cos theta, sin theta, sin theta, 2a, 2 gets cancelled. Therefore this will be equal to minus 1. So it is very simple. Diff again you get diff again you get dy by dx equal to minus 1. So when you differentiate this one you get d by dx of dy by dx equals minus d by dx of minus 1. Therefore it will become d square y divided by dx square equal to 0 because differentiation of constants is 1. Hence proof. Example 5, color. Y equals A into Y equals A into X to the power N plus 1 X to the power N plus 1 plus B by plus B by X to the power N X to the power N Show that Show that X square Y2 X square Y2 equals equals N into N into N plus 1 into Y N plus 1 into Y Right. So let us try this one. So this we can directly differentiate or you can rewrite that equation as a into x to the power n plus 1 plus b into x to the power minus n. So that is because if this x to the power n in the denominator goes to the numerator it is going to be x to the power minus n. So diff this with respect to x. So you'll be getting d by dx of y 
equals a into d by dx of x to the power n plus 1 plus b into d by dx of x to the power minus n. So you'll be getting here dy by dx equals a into x to the power n is nothing but n into x to the power n minus 1. So applying that law you get n plus 1 into x to the power n plus 1 minus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So plus b into x to the power n. Here it is minus n so it will become minus n into x to the power minus n minus 1. That will be the difference this thing of it. So what we get here is the second derivative. So I can rewrite this as dy by dx is equal to a into n plus 1 into x to the power n minus this minus I'm taking it out here minus b into n into x to the power minus of this that is I've taken minus power now. Now differentiating this equation for the second time we'll get the second derivative. You write this again you have d by dx of dy by dx equals a into n plus 1 is a constant. So I will take the constant out and differentiate the variable into x to the power n minus bn. I am taking the constant out into d by dx of x to the power minus of n plus 1. So applying this we get this is nothing but d square y divided by dx square equal to a into n plus 1. The applying the direct formula you get n into x to the power n minus 1 minus bn into minus of n plus 1 into x to the power minus n minus 1 minus 1 it becomes. Okay. So you would be having d square y divided by dx square equals this is going to be a into n into n plus 1 minus of minus it will become plus then it will become b into n into n plus 1 into x to the power minus n minus 2. So the given equation says over here if you see it is show that they have said x square y2. So what we have to do is multiply throughout multiply throughout by x square. So when you do that you will be getting x square into d square y divided by dx square equal to this is you also have here x to the power n minus 1. So you will have a into n into n plus 1 into x to the power n minus 1 into x square because you are multiplying throughout by x square plus b into n into n plus 1 into x minus this into x square because we multiply throughout by x square so then you get this one x square into d square y by dx square equals a into n into n plus 1 then if you take this one you get x to the power n minus 1 plus 2 it has become if that is a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power n plus n if you apply that law of indices formula here you get x to the power n minus 1 plus 2 therefore it is going to become x to the power n plus 1 because minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 so that plus 1 is over here plus b n into n plus 1 into if you take this one plus 2 and minus 2 it get cancelled therefore it will be equal to x to the power minus n so you rearrange this one you take n into n plus 1 common you will be getting x square into d square y divided by this dx square equal to n into n plus 1 
n plus 1 that will be equal to into a into a into x to the power n plus 1 plus b into that x to the power minus n can be written as in the denominator x to the power n. But this is the equation one, given one if you see it over here. It is y is equal to a into x to the power n minus n plus 1 plus b by x to the thing. So the whole thing is nothing but y. So we are substituting here. So therefore you will be getting x square into d square y divided by d x square equal to n into n plus 1 into y. Thus this is the desired equation. My heartfelt gratitude for this video viewers. May God bless you all.